Quinfall is a new upcoming MMORPG that until very recently I had no idea was in development and it kind of came out of nowhere with a trailer that looks ridiculously ambitious for a Turkish dev studio that according to their website was founded in 2021. The recent trailer for the game was surprisingly good though. It was almost 12 minutes long and seemingly showed actual combat against enemies, various spells, massive amounts of players fighting world bosses as well as diverse biomes. Visually, the game also didn't look trash, which is more than can be said for most indie MMOs we've seen in development over the past decade. One more thing that surprised me, this game isn't asking for any money. There's already a Steam page available for it, and it's apparently going to be releasing in 2023. So should you believe the hype, or is this going to be another indie MMO in development for 8 years only to never release? In this video, we'll discuss all of that, but first, sponsor. Dragon Raja is one of the most popular mobile MMORPGs out there, and right now it's celebrating its third anniversary, which means a huge third anniversary event for both new and returning players, with epic rewards such as diamonds, anniversary limited outfits, new cars, avatars, and much more. If you've never played Dragon Raja before, it's a highly interactive cyberpunk themed MMO with an open world and tons of unique features, such as the ability to customise your own car, real space player housing, a highly interactable world with minigames, and 13 unique classes. Speaking of which, the newest class, Shadow Fencer, is available to play now. This class uses the foil as a weapon and specialises in big damage, as well as crowd control against enemies. I'd expect this one to be a top pick in PvP. On top of that, the world of Dragon Raja is also expanding with a new map called Cambridge, which brings with it a new story and university to explore. Fun fact, I'm actually from the Cambridge area in England, so it's cool for me to see this get added as a new zone. Click the link in the description below to play Dragon Raja for the third anniversary now, and receive a limited return package where you'll not only get a ton of diamonds, but also the Ghost Sugar outfit, Sakura Pupil and Phantom Lord motors, as well as exquisite outfits Midsummer Tail and Grove Cavalier Encore for a limited time only. Click the link below and play Dragon Raja now. So before we get into the unbelievably ambitious features that this game is planning to implement, let's first take a look at the developers. Vorek Technology. On their website they mention they've only recently founded in 2021. If you go to their LinkedIn page, the company lists 50 to 200 employees, and their headquarters are in Istanbul, Turkey. So everything we're about to see in this trailer is apparently the culmination of two years work. With that in mind, let's begin. The trailer starts out with some nice shots of characters walking in five distinct biomes with some nice graphics. First look at the combat, a warrior charges in, stuns an enemy with his shield and dodges back. Straight away we can tell that this game is using an action combat system, not tab targeting. We're shown some fairly flashy flame abilities which have some decent spell effects. A look at the ranger combat once again, nice abilities, and it seems you actually need to aim your bow attacks more melee abilities, overall the combat is looking better than most indie MMOs so far. Next we get a look at the mage, and I really love the look of this frost nova ability. The long charge up flame dragon attack also looks very nice. It's at this point where this trailer started to grab my attention. More mage gameplay, this time with some kind of nature spell. The melee combat in this scene shows that sword attacks have cleave, and you can block attacks with your sword some dual axe melee gameplay, and we're shown some giant world boss fights. At first glance you'd think that these are other players, but on closer inspection a lot of these characters do look copy and paste, and are probably NPCs for the sake of trailer footage. As you can see, some of them are just running around randomly. The next few minutes of this trailer are already narrated by the developer, and talk more in depth about the game's features, so I'll just let this video play, then I'll give a TLDR summary of everything at the end along with my thoughts. Welcome to the realm of Quinfall, adventurer on a trail to the past. Lands of Quinfall feature a variety of landforms, mountains, lakes and rivers, 
that are shaped according to their respective biomes and climates. The local flora also corresponds to the biome. Cities are strategically spread across cliffs, shores, mountains and even underground in a vast 2016 square kilometre land. In this world, seasons and weather conditions like rain and snow interact with your character as well as objects. Plants and some animals may decline in number in certain climates. Some areas may be subjected to floods and some may surface as a result of drafts. All of these are some of the elements that make up Quinfall's alive and dynamic world. Those who find themselves in Quinfall will not encounter a classic MMORPG experience. In Quinfall, you can visit shops and taverns run by other players, play board games or mini games with others, and even make your own music. Keep in mind that your character is part of a living, breathing world. You may not find smiths and other merchants at certain points in time. To learn more about the world, listen carefully to NPCs. Every piece of information you gather and every area or dungeon you visit will broaden your knowledge, allowing you to uncover Quinfall's mysteries and hidden areas. You may need to find secret passages, solve puzzles and decipher codes in order to discover some areas. Do not forget that there are various stories and adventures waiting to be uncovered. Some of these puzzles will help you to solve the mystery of Quinfall. In Quinfall, you can shape your character in any way you want. There are over 100 details you can change in the face alone. You are able to create a unique character with details like skin color, hair, eyes and body shape, while tattoos and accessories allow further customization. This world offers you 11 different improvable professions inspired by the Middle Ages. You can hunt for treasures in secret areas, dungeons, open fields and underwater to find valuable items. You can plant seeds according to landforms and climate and harvest them for farming. If you don't have enough time, you can employ workers or real players 
and take time off to discover Quinfall. All professions are related to one another. Cooking allows one to create meals and desserts that give special powers in different fields. With chemistry, you can obtain formulas and create powerful potions that heal your character or your friends. You can fish in lakes, rivers and seas for various species. Some animals in different biomes can be tamed for the production of certain materials with the husbandry profession. You can also extract different resources from trees, plants and ores in various areas. This allows you to level up your profession level. Keep in mind that every item you gather is extremely vital for your survival and progress. If you wish, you can choose to develop your hunting profession by hunting animals. Caravan and merchant mounts can also be tamed and upgraded, which allows you to deliver goods faster and trade efficiently. Each mount provides different advantages in different areas. In a 2016 square kilometer land, improving your riding mount will grant you much useful speed. To obtain new mounts, you can tame wild animals breed existing ones, or buy from stables. The story of Quinfall allows you to use items that originate from different ages or ancient times, and even travel in time. You can establish your home in certain areas and decorate it with hundreds of objects. Quinfall's seas are as lively as its lands. You can build a ship yourself or with your friends to sail out to sea where adventure is waiting for you. Sailing allows you to explore new islands and areas while you must struggle against winds, weather conditions and giant waves that come your way. Nature is not the only thing you must battle as you can encounter pirates, other players and even mystical sea monsters. The longer this Quinfall video went on, the more outlandish and ambitious the game appears to be. Let's start by summarising everything. So, the game's been in development for two years, it's made in Unity by a dev team from Turkey with between 50 to 200 employees, and the game plans on releasing on Steam in 2023 and hasn't asked for any money yet. The land size is 2016 kilometers squared and contains five distinct biomes, snowy mountains, forests, deserts, marshlands and plains. Each of these biomes have their own weather, seasons and day-night cycle, as well as capital cities. Seasons affect gameplay with floods, snow, ice and droughts. Seasons also affect plants and animals. This is a sandbox MMORPG and also has player-run taverns and shops. You can go into the taverns and play board games with other players and make your own music. 
NPCs will not be at static locations and may roam around. The game has climbing mechanics and you can jump from ledge to ledge, climb rope, climb ladders and so on. The game uses an action combat system with flashy spell effects and traditional fantasy monsters such as dragons, in-depth character customization. The game has hidden areas and mysteries unlocked via exploration and puzzle solving. There's also hidden treasure chests throughout the world or underwater. The game has a caravan system that's basically the same as Ashes of Creation. In certain areas of the world, you can build your own real space player housing. The building system looks kind of similar to how it snaps together in most survival games. Every guild can apparently have their own guild island that they can build together. The game will have a channel system similar to games like Black Desert Online. You can avoid PvP by playing on a PvE channel. The game has 9 different weapon systems, 11 different medieval professions, some of which include cooking, alchemy, animal husbandry, fishing, woodcutting, gathering, mining, hunting and farming. You can make your own farm in the world and hire NPCs or other players to deal with your crops. There's some kind of witcher vision that shows gatherable resources in the world. Each mount has different pros and cons, you can upgrade your mount to make it faster, and to get new mounts you either tame wild animals or breed existing mounts together. The game will apparently have castle siege wars and guild wars, where guilds can fight to own cities. If all of that wasn't ambitious enough, bear with me here. The story of the game allows you to time travel and experience things from different ages, the game has airships, steam engines, minecarts, and giant mech robots. The game will also have the entire arcade sailing system, where you can build giant galleons, become a pirate with open world PvP on the seas, the ocean has wave physics, storm effects, as well as giant sea monsters like the Kraken. Oh, and on top of all of that, the game even lists good optimization as a feature on Steam. Oh, and apparently it's also going to be buy to play, no pay to win on the cash shop, and RNG won't be tied to progression. It's been a long time since we've had a new game announced that was literally promising the world, but when I saw that trailer and it got to the part about airships, time travel, steam engines, giant mechs and the naval content, my reaction was pure scepticism, followed by confusion when I saw that the studio's only been around for two years, they're not currently asking for any money, and they think that this game will be ready for release this year. There's no way. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd love for this game to actually exist and be good, but the average MMO takes at least five years to develop. The really ambitious ones are seven to eight years and more. How's this random Turkish developer gonna finish a full MMORPG that has everything everyone's ever wanted within the span of three years? It's surely not possible. The optimization part on Steam also gave me a chuckle, because if the game's only been in development for two years and it's never had any beta tests, how can they possibly say, get ready for a hyper-realistic world with advanced graphics and state-of-the-art systems, get optimal performance on every system with unprecedented high-level optimization, Enjoy smooth gameplay even in high play accounts and crowded environments. They've basically copied half of the features from Ashes of Creation, added even more ambitious aspects to it, then expect everyone to believe it's possible to get finished within three years of the studio being founded. I mean, sure, they're not asking for money, so it's definitely going to be an interesting project to follow, and more MMOs in development is always a good thing, but there's no way I'm having any kind of expectations for this game until I've played it. To be fair though, I thought the trailer was an absolute banger. It did show off a lot of gameplay, and if we saw this trailer seven years ago before Chronicles of Valyria, before Ashes of Creation, and before indie MMOs in general were viewed with such high scepticism, we'd all be foaming at the mouth, all aboard the hype train for Quinfall. So best of luck to the devs, I'm sceptical, but excited to follow the project. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Quinfall, is this game raising any red flags for you, or are you like me in being confused as hell at how this game is being funded, how it's supposed to be releasing in 2023, and how it's going to implement half of its intended features. Hit that like button for the algorithm gods, social media on screen, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.